Hi, and welcome to this Plant Factory and Plant Catalog quick tip. With the Plant Factory integration plugin, you can import Plant Factory and Plant Catalog plants into Unreal Engine 4 and 5 easily. I'll be showing the process in Unreal Engine 5 today, but the process in Unreal Engine 4 is just the same. Once you have installed the plugin alongside Plant Factory or Plant Catalog exporter, make sure the plugin is enabled in the plugin panel. Then use the green icon on the toolbar to load any plant in its native TPF file format. I'll select one from the plant catalog collection. Now you will notice that the plant model seems to be a bit low on resolution, especially when I turn on the wireframe. This is because the model is still procedural and for performance reasons, a lower resolution proxy object is displayed in the viewport. Note that it is also called a preview model for this very reason in the outliner. While the plant remains in its procedural state, you can make edits to the plant just like you would in Plant Factory or Plant Catalog Exporter. You can generate a new plant variation, change presets, or edit any parameters that were published from the plant's node graph. As of release 2023, you can also add vertex colors to the mesh. Just turn on vertex colors in the advanced menu and then go to edit post-processing settings in the plugin. Here you can include additional plant information as vertex colors in a user-definable channel for example, ambient occlusion computation or material blending masks for smooth material transitions. Once you're done with tweaking the plant, you need to bake it from its procedural proxy state into a FBX mesh actor. For this, go to Convert to Unreal Engine 5 object. Please note that the folder for saving the converted plant must be a subfolder of your current Unreal project for the conversion to work. You can also include baked wind animation as a point cloud or a bone rig, which we recommend only for smaller plants for performance reasons. For a future release, we are working on supporting native Unreal Engine wind through automatic setup of world position offset material functions. And if you're running Unreal Engine 5.1 with Nanite support for foliage, you can pre-check the Nanite-specific actor options, enable Nanite and preserve area. This will save you the extra step of going into the actor settings and enabling these settings on your own. Now that the plant has been converted, the model is displayed in its full and final resolution and the actor has been added to your project's content structure alongside all texture maps. And because the plugin sets up all required material node networks automatically, we recommend using the plugin over a generic mesh export from Plant Catalog Exporter or Plant Factory because overall it's just a much more seamless experience with the plugin. And if we take a look at the actor settings, we can see that the nanite options that we checked in the plugin were transferred to the static actor. Keep in mind that even though Unreal Engine 5.1 improved nanite support for vegetation quite a lot, you can still experience odd artifacts every now and then when the nanite algorithm has difficulty simplifying some models. So if nanite doesn't work properly for a particular model, you can still disable it and just fall back on legacy LOD workflows. And that's it for bringing Plant Catalog and Plant Factory plants into Unreal Engine. We hope you found this quick tip useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.